Cody. Come on, boy. Yeah. Lay down. 11 year old Cody back on his favorite chair. Is it surreal to see him sit on that chair again? It's weird after two and a half, two and a quarter years. Exactly two years, two months, and 23 days after he disappeared from his home in Algonquin. The Siberian Husky has returned home. When he got home here, he went right back to that chair like he always had. Armin Revisa sat next to the empty chair two years ago. He'll jump in this chair right here and watch TV sharing his story with us, holding on to hope. Then on Friday, he got the unexpected call. I got a phone call from the uh, Noah's Ark, which is an animal shelter in uh, Rockford, uh, that Cody was there. I says, ah. yeah, I was shocked, uh, stunned. It turns out someone saw Cody roaming around the streets of Rockford. A microchip made the reunion possible. And when the family scanned it um, at Noah's Ark, it came up lost. A miracle, it's says Carrie Severston, who helped search for Cody from day one. Now she's thrilled to see the Husky reunited with his owner and his sister, Shadow. My heart's cool. full and I'm, I'm happy yeah. and, and I couldn't have yeah. asked for anything better for Armin. Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. Now it's unclear where Cody was this whole time. He appears to be okay health wise, but does have some breathing issues and will be going to the vet this week for a follow up. You know, that's what's so interesting about those microchips. I didn't realize that they're not GPS trackers. They can't track the dog, no. but they give you so much information about that particular pet mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, if it was a bred dog, who the breeder was, who the owners are, what shots they have. It's just incredible. And the Everything. fact that the family thought, hey, let's bring it in and scan the dog. You know, it's just modern technology. I was able to find my dog that way once. Really? Yeah. Oh, good story. It's a very nice thing to be able to get yes. your dog back after that.